Welcome everyone. So we have had quite a while, quite a break uh, from, since the last video you saw. So real quick, um, as a recap from the last video, if you guys sent me an email about, hey, I told you I would give you uh, give you guys this if you wanted it. Just send me your name and address, and I'll you know first per person to send me an email. Well, I didn't realize, but my email was down, so therefore this never got sent out because I never got anybody's email. But it's back up and going now, so go ahead and if you guys want this for whatever reason uh if you want to know what it's from or what it was intended for you can go back and check out the last video but anyhow that's that's that there so aside from that i've been busy doing a lot of things and now we are starting to weld bed and we're already pretty much halfway through it and i just kind of got started on it and next thing you know working this at the other and here we are pretty much halfway done with this thing so i'll go ahead and show you guys what we got going on so this is for a 2007 Chevy, I think. Um, but more or less, he wants all the storage he can get, so that's what we're trying to do for him. He's got a Miller Pipe Pro that uh, this is the machine bed is for. Here we got double bottles laying down. We're going to put the acetylene here. This is going to be a big toolbox. This is already a big toolbox, if you can tell. Um, on the back end, we're putting a bumper of some sort. Still haven't figured out where this is going to go. Um, toolbox is the same on this side. Lead well. This is, this can be used for leads, but I th I'm not sure if he's going to use what he's going to use this for. But uh, this is obviously the lead well. And back here, we're going to have a trunk in it to put the jack stands. Uh, also, another little compartment up here for miscellaneous stuff. But the idea of this whole bed is storage, but we've already got, like I said, we've already got most of it done and it's just my fault for failing to pick up the camera. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot right now. If you want to stick around to the end and hear me babble about some other stuff, go right ahead. But we're going to get back to work. Just going to shut up and uh, see what we can get accomplished today.
It's been a day or two since the since we last little clip we saw here. Um, I have been out of the loop. I'm going to be honest. I didn't really feel like picking up the camera because it's just it's been a, it's been a while since since we've done anything. So I apologize for lack of uh, video on this. But hopefully going forward, I will be you know documenting this the rest of the way. Maybe not so much. Hey, this how you should do this, but at least. You know, if you see an ID you like here or there, um, it'll give you give you something to go off of, I guess. But I'm not sure how much we really got done in in the uh, speedy uh, speedy welding. But got a lot of everything welded out on this side. Um, not so much on that side yet, but uh, managed to get the bumpers. I guess you call it the side rails here, and then this back bumper slash step, which I think turned out pretty well. Um, but I'm not going to drag on talking in this video. I just kind of wanted to get a video out because it's been a while. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, there's still some stuff to be worked out on this as far as details. And um, we're doing some custom taillights back here, I think. So there's just kind of some stuff that's yet to be determined. Um, and other stuff we're just trying to... I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about it before I go ahead and dive on in. But... Um, I mentioned before this is where the oxygen bottle will go. I think we're going to put the acetylene, a single acetylene here. Um, we're going to make it to where he can slide the bottles in from that side or he can just put it in from that side and have his have his regulator over there and have his um, acetylene one on this side or put it in where he can turn this one on here, turn this one on up here. But that's for, that's for another video. So anyhow, like I said, I just want to keep it short. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hopefully more to come. As I mentioned, I've been gone for a while. I've been doing a lot of other things. And this is just kind of, this is one of the things I've been doing. And we started on this maybe three, four, two, two, maybe two, two, three weeks ago. Actually, it was three weeks ago, I think. Um, and I I meant to pick up the camera, and I just never did. I just got, got into it, got involved. And the next thing you know, we're, we're at this stage, and you know haven't really uh haven't really videoed much of it so appreciate you guys watching we'll see y'all on the next video hopefully right back on this project and getting it knocked out thanks guys